Hello, Jesse Good here. And thankfully, I have connections. And today I'm going to open up 20 random packs of Lego Ninjago minifigure series. These are all based off of the new movie. And our first pack shall be, oh, Jay Walker. And this figure is awesome because it's a cheap way to get that amazing new hair piece and casual clothes and that new scarf piece as well. And also the selfie stick build, which has a nice printed one by two that shows himself taking a selfie, which is quite hip and trendy. Second pack, and I cut a little bit and then peel it because I don't want to destroy any capes inside. I just need enough to open it easily. And oh, this looks like a shark warrior. So here's the Shark Army Great White. Not one of my favorites, but still very cool with his side arm printing, the printing on his legs, which look great, and also the side leg printing. He does have this nice black fish and black oxygen tank, and also the design of him is different from the one for the sets because there's a character called the Great White in the sets, but it's not this volcanic design. And also the face underneath, I think, has different color hair. So far, so good. No repeats. Let's hope it sticks that way, but uh, you never know. And this one underneath is, uh, oh, this is another Shark Army warrior. So here is the Shark Army Angler, and she has this mace right here, which is unfortunately the same one from the Frightening Night from Series 15, so I wish I would've done a new coloring for that. Either way, her face print underneath is very menacing. I like that face a lot. And I love this anglerfish mask, which the design also appears in the ice tank, but in a different coloring. So it's a really hard piece to get, and I like how they kept it exclusive with coloring. Also, the auction tank right here is a new piece. It's different from, say, the Shark Army uh, Great White, because his is connected to the mask, and this is just separate. Very cool outfits and a great minifigure overall. And our next pack, let's see what's inside. And it seems like we got, oh, Lloyd Garmadon himself. So here's Lloyd Garmadon, and he's a great looking figure, but it's just the same one that appears in the set. So really, you couldn't get like a new design or something like that. Now granted, this is one of two Lloyds in this series. He does have this nice schematics right here, which is a two by three tile. Also the new mask, which is top and bottom molds, and that new scimitar piece or sword piece with the tassel on the bottom. And they also give you the hair piece for him in this one figure. And you can see the face print underneath is the same as the one in the sets. What's really weird though is that this one doesn't have a back facial printing. So if you're not gonna make a double-sided face that's the same in the sets, why not just make a new face print overall? That just boggles my mind. All right, next pack. Let's see what's inside. And it is... Oh, our second Jay Walker. Ah, oh, we were doing good with no repeats. Either way, don't really mind because I love that hair piece. The scarf piece is great. Just a great figure overall. All right, I'm just gonna do a clean cut up here. Hopefully I didn't cut any fabric. Let's see who's inside. And, oh, it's the other Lloyd. So here is the Lloyd. And this one is weird like the first one because they have an odd design choice to make the same torso as the one in the Ninjago City Chase set except it doesn't have the shine to it, and on the back you could see there's no back printing, so it's like a weaker version. I don't get the point of that. Should have just made a new print. Either way, I love the spoon piece and that bowl right there, which has a nice design, as well as the hood piece, which is a plastic. I thought it would be rubber or something, and it looks pretty cool. It's a great mold, and I guess he has sort of a new face, but it's very similar to many others. And here is the next pack, and I just knocked over a pack. All right, let's see what's inside. Oh, it's Sensei Wu. So here is Sensei Wu, and this is getting crazier because look, he has arm printing while the one in the official sets does not have arm printing. So it's like the reverse of what's happening with the Lloyd figures where the one in this collectible minifigures line is the more detailed one. He does have a new face that I think is exclusive to the collectible minifigure with a more sincere eye. And also this design for the cornflakes box is hilarious. I just wish it kind of had printing on the back or something, but it's so funny. I like that. Great piece. All right, let's see what's next. I really want to get the pop star. What is it? End pop singer or something like that. That will be awesome. All right. Ooh, we got Zane. So here is Zane, and this is one I actually really wanted. I love that new hair piece, which only comes in the Temple of the Ultimate Ultimate Weapon and probably some promo for a training suit, Zane. And you also got kind of a digital strands of hair or hair lines on the back all throughout 
the head of the minifigure. It's very detailed. Also, I love the hiker's backpack and that new coloring, and also the geeky shirt with the sweater vest. And you know what? It's easier to just open it all the way. I hope I don't cut any cloth, though. And inside is, oh, just another Lloyd. Don't mind getting extra of him because he has that great spoon and bowl piece. All right, let's see who's next. We're doing pretty good with only two repeats. And, ooh, it's the end pop singer, yes. This minifigure is cue of the war, just too adorable. Because look, that torso has Unikitty on it. I love the use of Harley Quinn's hair in this new super colorful color. I mean, the figure in general is just super colorful with two different dual molded legs and some nice sock printing on the side. It's a very detailed figure in general. And I like the little teddy bear to boot. All right, let's see what's inside this one. And it is, da -da -da. oh, what is it? Oh, the sushi chef. This guy's pretty cool. I like his bandana with the little black stripes on it. And also the sushi pieces, which have a new print on there and looks great. And the dual molded legs, which are black boots with a white kind of pants. I think that looks fantastic. And it's just plain, so there's no printing on it, so it's even more useful. All right, let's see what's inside this one. It's a very thick one, so maybe a garment one? I don't know, just preliminary thought. Oh no, it is uh, the octopus, I think, or something like that. There you go. Now this is the first time I've seen a stud shooter in the clipable minifigures line, and how those work, you just push it down and goes flying, they give you two extra studs, and his design looks really cool with uh, this big octopus piece. It's a little bit rubber, um, but very flexible. And you can see underneath his uh, kind of angry face, but yeah, just a crazy figure just for that little octopus outfit, which looks really funny. We're doing pretty good so far with, I think, 12 and only two repeats. That's pretty good. Um, but let's see what's inside this one, and it is... Oh, the Gong Rocker. And eh, not one of my favorites, but I still like that new color for that uh, hippie hair piece as it was originally released as. And I love that uh, tattoo right there. Other than that, I mean, it's kind of weird in terms of having like, what, the fifth rocker in the minifigure series? Maybe even six? I'm not sure. But yeah, I guess it has some cool parts at least. All right, let's see which one is next. Hopefully not a repeat because we're doing pretty good. And... It is, oh yes, uh, Kendo Kai. So here is Kendo Kai. As far as I could tell, that hairpiece is different from the sets, but the, the legs and torso underneath is the same one as his ninja outfit. I do like how they include the hair as well, and I like this little Kendo helmet right here. But the accessory is so boring with just these two sticks. Come on, I don't know. They could have made this one a little bit more exciting. And let's see what's in this one. Oh shoot, I almost cut, I think, a fabric. That's why I don't want to cut all the way. And, oh, it might be, oh, it's another one of the sushi chefs. Another one I don't mind getting a second of because of those nice sushi pieces. And overall, just a really cool figure, especially with those dual molded legs. And next up, let's see what's inside this one. It's a thick one, hopefully a Garmadon. Oh no, awesome, yes, Misako. Oh my gosh, I forgot she was in the series. Coco right there, and I love this outfit, but the best part is this new hair piece right here, which is fantastic, and she only comes in Ninjago City, which is this more expensive set, so it's nice to get her in a cheap set like this, and her adorable face print right there is fantastic. All right, let's see. So far, no Garmadon. I, I do want one of the past, or the Volcano one would be cool. Um, wow, my third Jay Walker. Yeah, again, I don't mind getting a third one of this guy because his pieces are so cool. Okay, let's see what's inside this one. And it is... Oh, another Zane. Cool. <laughs> Just like Jay, I don't mind getting a repeat of this guy. I have two packs left. Can I pull a Garmadon? Just pass Garmadon over Kano and I'll be happy. Um, let's see what's inside. Oh, okay, wait, I forgot about this. It's cool. Yeah, this one's one of my favorites. I call him Roderick because he looks like Roderick from the Dire Wimpy Kid movies, which aren't very good. I love this. This, <laughs> this is the ACDC shirt, which um, they put it in Ninjago language, which is kind of funny. And you can see, World Tour sold out, 1985. That is so funny. Oh my gosh. And 
he does have this nice little um, boom box, which seems to have like an old iPod or something on there. Honestly, I'm super happy with what I got, but uh, let's hope this is just a new one. Let's see what's inside. And, oh, just another Sensei Wu. Actually, I have to remember that they don't refer to him as Sensei Wu anymore, but rather Master Wu. Getting an extra one of the Cornflakes box is awesome, and I didn't want to put his little uh, skirt or, or fabric on, so you could get a good look at the leg piece underneath. So I ended up doing fantastic for a bunch of random bags. I mean, only six repeats out of 20 bags. That's fantastic. You see, the repeats I got, too, were some of my favorites, like Jay, Walker, and Zane. These are the five that I would call my favorites from the batch, and they're basically my five favorites from the series as a whole, maybe minus Volcano and uh, past Garmadon. And now let me know which ones are your favorites in the comments below, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Bye.